Hey guys, Casey here. We're here at Sandy Beach. Here's the neighborhood. Just on the other side of the street here. Um, are a bunch of super nice houses overlooking the lake. So it's actually a pretty, pretty sweet little neighborhood. Oh, and really good news. We had been discussing a man door leading from the garage and it already exists. So it looks like you can walk straight in and uh, go through the garage and into the mother-in-law suite. So that's awesome. Okay, let's go into the house. Uh, exterior seems to be in good shape. So we step in, it is a split level, so you don't have an enormous landing, but we've done a really good job with all of the updating in here. Looks pretty awesome. So let's go up the stairs here into the kitchen. Now let's turn on some lights. Okay, so here's the living area. The fireplace facing it. And then here's a view of kind of the entire upstairs living area. It's not enormous, but it's really not too bad either. And then you have a sort of dining area over here. Here's the backyard through the sliding door. Okay, and as we go down the hallway, there's actually three bedrooms. Right here we got a little coat closet. First door we have a uh, full bath, full bathroom. Got that kind of rustic, darker wood accent on the back. Tub and surround. And they have this vinyl plank, this luxury vinyl plank all throughout. And then this really nice carpeting, brand new in the bedrooms. So this is bedroom number one. It's got a new kind of modern ceiling fan. Plenty of closet space. Oh, we almost missed another linen closet here at the end of the hall. Okay, at the end of the hall here is another bedroom. This also is not the master. They did the ceiling fan in every bedroom. Closet. And then this back here was the master bedroom. The master's not huge. They do have these kind of cool lights to go on either side of where you'd put the bed here. And then the bedroom is actually open to... The vanities here in the master bathroom. You got your closet here. And then you have a pocket door leading to uh, the toilet and the shower. You got one of those cool uh, soaking shower heads. This is all really nice kind of luxury stuff. Oh, it looks like they have some more shelves for towels and whatnot back here. Little window to the backyard from up here. Okay. Really like this carpeting. I'm sure it was expensive. <laughs> okay, let's go downstairs and take a look. So that's everything up. So we got three bedrooms up. I uh, got the main living area, the kitchen, obviously. Oh, actually, I didn't show you much of the kitchen, did I? Yeah, stainless steel appliances. We've got a gas range. We've got it vented. We've got a nice tile backsplash. Everything's kind of these gray colors, which are really in style right now. Well, they've got an additional light above the sink. They've got one of these nice, massive kitchen sinks that are really in style right now as well. Okay, let's go downstairs and see what we see. OK, 
Okay, so we get downstairs. Here's the hall leading out to the right. And yes, there is a closable door here. So let's close that. And now this is its own unit, essentially, down here. This is the laundry room. There is no washer and dryer already installed, so we'll have to do that. But there is a laundry sink in this room, which I love laundry sinks. It's such a pain in the butt when you don't have a laundry sink. Some understair storage. Okay. Continue down the hall, and we have a full bath. Actually, you know what's funny is this would be considered a three-quarter bath because there's no tub. But there's a tub sized shower. I really like how they did these things in here. They made it all look really nice. Okay, and then here's the actual mother in law. It's not huge, it's about the size of the living area upstairs. And you're right, there's no refrigerator here. So my guess is. The refrigerator upstairs comes with the property, but washer, dryer, and refrigerator for downstairs will need to be purchased. Um, got a closet here. And then you've got your window kind of leading out to the front. Okay, let's pass through and take a look at the garage. See what that looks like. Okay, we come into the garage. Got a jet ski in here, interesting. Two car tandem garage, no partition. Looks like there's some storage area down here. Another where they have stored a bunch of uh, construction supplies. Okay, this is the man door that we saw from the outside. And voila, we have passed through the garage and we are outside. Okay, and then on this back corner is the utility room, I believe, yes. A <laughs> central vac, very important. Uh, we've got our boiler. And we've got our hot water heater, zone valves, everything like that. So that's the whole place. Looks pretty good. Thanks, guys.